Welcome to Elk Shape Headquarters. We are uh, just a normal Monday. Gonna do a quick shoot the bow. Try to shoot every day. Even if it's just five arrows, whatever, what's in my quiver. Middle of winter, gonna do a quick workout and just do more behind the scenes so you guys know Elk Shape's a real, a real person, not a robot. This is uh, one of those deals where the family is gone. They went sledding. I gotta stay back, record a podcast for uh, the Elk Shape podcast. So it's a normal work day for me, and uh, this is kind of what we do pretty much every day year-round preparation for one month out of the year, September. Everything kind of hinges upon chasing bugles, and just a little bit paranoid, to be honest with you. If I don't get a workout in, if I don't shoot my bow, if I don't do some sort of scouting or research or try to get a tag, try to get as much work done throughout the year so I can take a month off and just go elk hunting. That's it. Pull those arrows and go get warmed up and ready to work out. So today we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna warm up inside because uh, the garage is cold, it's winter. We're just getting pounded with snow every week. I've done a lot of shoveling, but uh, we have a plan. I try to always have a plan about the workout. Uh, today we need to, we need the front squat five, around 80%, and I want to sneak in some squat clean, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some warm up and then we'll pull from the floor, we'll do a squat clean, and then we'll uh, go ahead and front squat whatever we squat clean. I do wear knee sleeves on days I'm going to squat, I like the extra just heat and compression, especially when it's cold outside. Um, when I do squat cleans, I am going to definitely uh, wear wrist wraps to get a strong solid front rack position and then we'll do uh, tape our thumbs because I hook grip and you'll see what that is. But we'll just go downstairs and ride a bike, fan bike, get warmed up, open up the hips, do some halo squats and then we'll uh, go outside. Once we knock that strength out, we have a conditioning piece and that's it. And we'll just have literally 30 or 40 minutes wrapped into a workout and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for today when it comes to that. I'm not gonna go run or, or do anything else beyond that. It's Monday, we've got a podcast to get ready for. We're interviewing Russ Meyer on spring bear hunting. Um, I'm really excited, just posted on social media that I was gonna do that and for people to comment questions. So we should have some good questions to ask him in addition to the ones I've already done. And when I do interview people, I usually send them an intake form ahead of time with you know some set questions and get some background information on them. folks. Schedule the podcast. I have a scheduling link. Didn't have that when I first started out, so they can. I used to have to play phone tag or text people back and forth to try to get our calendars lined out. Now I can use just a, an app to do that, which is great. I like that. And that's what we're up to. We've got Elk Shape Camp coming up, and it's the first one of seven. I'm a little bit nervous because this one sold out, and then the one right after it in a couple weeks in Oregon is not sold out. There's lots of spots left, so uh, it's, it's nerve wracking because you want to promote it, you want it to sell out, you know what your camps can provide people, not only on just elk knowledge, elk behavior, and elk tactics, but way beyond that with the fitness, the nutrition, and personal development side. So that always makes me nervous, just knowing that uh, I used to have a steady paycheck coming in, owning a gym, sold the gym, and doing elk shape full time. It's, it's just crazy. Um, but I love helping people and I love elk hunting. Uh, I'm very passionate about fitness and this is kind of where everything collides. So yeah, it's uh, a lot of hustle and a lot of marketing and I bet it gets pretty annoying for those that follow me on socials and stuff because I post a lot about it, but that's the only way I know to uh, get people excited about the camps and then um, knock their socks off this weekend. Uh, it should be exciting. Let's go warm up. Get those glutes firing. Got burns. So we'll do a few squats. Basically, there's tension throughout in the hips. I think when people refer to hips, I think they mean 
glutes, glute max, glute medius, uh, not hip flexor, so it's major and minor. Uh, we're going to be catching a barbell here and then getting our front squats in. We're going to do a few glute bridges. So I think a lot of people are gonna continue down the path of getting their own home gyms built. I think once they do it and commit to parking in the street, call it oak parking, uh, it, there's just nothing more satisfying than going out to your garage, skip the couch, go get a workout done in the name of Better Elk Hunting, skip the 20 minute drive to the gym, the 20 minute drive back from the gym, Plus, there's always a social component. You'll see somebody you know talk. I don't have time for that. And uh, I, I enjoy still going to a CrossFit gym. And I, I love the people there. But, man, I also love my home gym. It's just super convenient to get out there and, and get a sweat in. And it just doesn't – it's not a burden. Um, I think I think more and more people are going to get home gyms. And it doesn't take much to get one started. Okay, so we're gonna do a couplet. It's just a kettlebell. You can use a dumbbell or sandbag. Doesn't matter. 27, 21, 15, 9, 6. Three for time, two movements, it's a couplet, task priority. Kettlebell snatch. So kettlebell doesn't have to touch the ground, it's like a hang. Uh, switch up your arms when you're tired. Goblet squats. So thumb to bum when you swing. Hinge, stay tall, thumb to bum, punch through, thumb to bum, punch through. <clears throat> Hold your kettlebell up or down, doesn't matter. I'll mix it up for sure. I'll get tired. Might end up here, here. It's just a goblet squat, 53 pound kettlebell. Uh, 21, no, 27, 21, 15. Nine six three. That's gonna take just under ten minutes, and it's gonna be tough to breathe. It's just gonna be it's big muscles. They're gonna be hungry, but you'll be done. And like so, your total workout time, including warm up, cool down, thirty minutes. You can do this. So, um, why do you subscribe to this channel? Just because of the hunting side. Well, this is truly behind the scenes. Like this is really what happens. Is delay gratification every day having a why and working towards your goals of being the best you can be. All the all, all the elk I killed, which is a lot in a short amount of time. I've elk hunting since 2001. I started elk, archery elk hunting in 2006. 
and we're getting close to 30 bulls. And a lot of those came in the last decade, probably averaging two, just over two bulls a year with a bow, not too impressive. Too impressive upon you, like, that's what I'm training for. Like, literally, everything I've ever done doesn't matter. The slate is brand new for 2020, and we're, we're starting over. We're gonna work hard year round. Um, so we can basically be limitless in September. Um, once we do the workout, we're gonna go inside, grab a bow, and we're gonna shoot five more arrows under fatigue, and we'll call it a day, and we'll go do the podcast. Close, close, that's him. Close, close, If you've never shot pre and post workout, I'd recommend it. It's it's eye opening, and it's like I'm shaking right now. That was crazy. Let's see if we can put it together.
people are going to ask, so what release are you using? This is a Carter, the knock to it, it's two finger. I like three fingers, I'm just using this release for the next month. I mix up my releases throughout the year. I usually hunt actually with an index. I hook my index around the second knuckle and I can pull through and shoot it pretty much like a hinge. I have killed animals with hand release. Um, in fact, the last animal I killed was a turkey. I shot it with a Carter two simple three finger. So I'm not married to anything, whatever I feel the most confident with. Alright, that is behind the scenes of Duck Shape. Is it content you really want to see? I don't know. Honestly, I don't really care. I'm going to do me. If you're into it, great. If you got some education or some motivation, uh, great. If you got nothing out of this video, I'm sorry. That's uh, We're trying to just bring you guys along behind the scenes here in Washington State as we <sighs> limp our way through the off season. Good news is, Spring Bear is like three months out. I can do it, you can do it. We'll catch you guys on the next one.